Greetings. Welcome to In Conversation with Trevor, brought to you by Heart and Soul Broadcasting Services. I go beyond the headlines and beyond the sensational. Today I'm in conversation with His Worship, the Mayor of Harare, Councillor Jacob Mafume. If you enjoy this conversation, remember to subscribe, to like and share. Let's get down to some work. His Worship, the Mayor of Harare, Councillor Jacob Mafume, what a pleasure having you around, sir. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Very humbled to be here. Thank you, sir. And very happy to be having this conversation with you. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mayor, I, I will start at a place, uh, uh, a point of head. Uh, sincere condolences. You lost your mother in, in, in March. As somebody who's lost uh, parents myself, I, I know how it feels like. Um, how, how, how close were you to your mother? Talk to us about that relationship and yes. uh, what she meant to, to you. Yeah, we were very, very close. It was very hurtful. Uh, you know, you are never prepared for that sort yeah. of pain. You, the loss is something that uh, you cannot measure. Uh, you also cannot understand it until you go through it. Mm. Uh, there is a measure of permanence uh, that is there that is seriously uh, problematic. Um, we were very close, uh, we we're a very small family, uh, the five of us and our father was thankfully still alive. And uh, we grew up together singing hymns at night, praying and uh, she was a teacher. My father was a headmaster. Mm. So we, you know, you know, you come from school, you go home to teach us and you get very, very close and you know, you do a lot of things to make them proud. Mm -hmm. uh, everything you do, you want your mother to be proud. Yeah. And when she goes, um, it really leaves a very big void mm -hmm. uh, somewhere else. We are thankful for the support that we received from the nation. Uh, my mother was very quiet and unassuming. The, the exact opposite of you, <laughs> you're not quiet. <laughs> The exact opposite. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure she would have been very surprised at the drama that ensued at a funeral. At the funeral. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there yeah. about, about that drama. Mm. But what, what, what is it? So for me, my mother was known as basically the mother of the neighborhood. Mm. If, if any child got uh, naughty, people would say, I'm going to send you to my Trevor, and my Trevor is going to deal with you. Our mother was very firm with us, loving but firm. What do you remember from your mother? What do you carry on? Yeah, um, she, she was loving, and we, we, we grew up in the rural areas, uh, Mafua village, uh, in Mbetu in Mashingo there. And she she was also a mother for, for the neighborhood, you know, being uh, a teacher. Uh, the rural people always assume uh, that there's wisdom yes, yes, yes. where they are teachers. And indeed, there was wisdom. Uh, every problem, food, eating. I, I used to remember at breakfast, uh, people will always have an excuse to be passing by. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, in the rural areas, no one can pass by without you offering what you are eating. Mm -hmm. So most of the times, we would either eat very fast because we knew that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our plate will be transferred to one village elder or the other should they happen to pass by. So um, she was very generous, uh, very loving. Uh, even when we grew up, we would buy food. Uh, they refused to leave the rural areas. Um, we would buy food, put it in, uh, and uh, within a few weeks, you they will phone and say, the food is finished. And we'll say, but we bought a whole room full of food. They say, how can we eat when everyone no else in the village is not, is not having? So if you if you are buying for us, you're buying for everyone. May her soul mm -hmm. rest in peace. You talk about the drama at her funeral. Shall we go there? Uh, and, and I think this is the opportunity for, 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 for corrections to be made because we, we had um, um, Godfrey um, sitting there and Godfrey says, at, at uh, 
Jacob Mafume, Mayor Jacob Mafume's uh, funerals, mother's funeral, uh, certain things were said, uh, which made people believe that there was some alliance between President Mnangagwa and uh, and uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa. Is that the drama you're talking about, or there was a separate drama? Well, it, it was the the the, the drama uh, probably when the chief Charumbira yes. said his speech. Uh, it was unscripted and unconsulted. Uh, we come from Chief Charumbira, uh, chieftains. Uh, he is our uh, uncle, or grandfather, uh, besides being a chief, and uh, he's been part of the family uh, uh, since uh, we grew up. You must understand uh, when you are in a chief tense and uh, your father is a headmaster or mudumeni or some such other post, these are the village uh, leaders. Mm. Uh, you, you move from the chief, it's the local pastors, the local headmasters, the Mudumenis and so forth. So your families tend to be closely knit and you tend to go to functions together, be it funerals at their houses, mm -hmm. weddings and so forth. So he, and, and as our custom and tradition, uh, in the rural areas, the chief always speaks last uh, <laughs> at a funeral and sends a message. It, uh, it, and, and, and he said uh, certain things, but Above all in his message, which might have been missed, was the message of peace, mm -hmm. a message to say we are all one, mm -hmm. a message to say let's talk together. There is no need to fight. And, and you know, he was uh, graphic in saying, let's have tea. Mm -hmm. Even if you suspect the tea, bring your own kettle and your own water and your own sugar and let's drink together. And uh, uh, our leader or my leader, uh, President Nelson Chamisa, took it in good faith. He was there at the funeral. And we felt like that is what a chief is supposed to speak at a funeral. And that was the message. And he saw it as a national platform to be able to give out a, a, a message. But uh, certain then statements and views were then taken out of context in a you know, the toxic and polarized mm. nature of our, of our politics. politics. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the one big question that I, I have for you, um, um, His Worship, the mayor, is why did you get into politics? Well, we, we got into politics. There's no, you know, Damascene moment. Uh, you know, it's not dramatic. I listened to some stories by war veterans. A person says I was sitting on the top of a rock. <laughs> and then I realized that people were not free. Mm. And they, I then caught up and went <laughs> and yeah. took a gun. I, I, I don't think I have one moment uh, like that. It was a build up. We were student leaders uh, ever since high school when I went to college. I became a student leader. Mm. Uh, being a student leader, we protested about the conditions that we were facing as students. That's when the economy was starting to go down. Uh, fees were being introduced at the university. Uh, corruption, our parents were no longer affording things that they were able to afford before. And we identified the root cause of that problem as a governance problem and the regime uh, that was led by Robert Mugabe. And we built up uh, our protest from there, you know, the days of uh, Mutambara. Yes, Lingo, John Atham Wey. Tambara was, yeah, si yeah, was sitting yeah, there. Yeah, he was sitting there. Yes. At that time, uh, Nelson Chamisa was the president of the uh, of, of Sinasu or Secretary General of Sinasu. So we a group, Judah Jongwe, Job Skala, Tafadza Msekiwa, uh, Fuchin Muguni, and a whole lot of other people who are now part of the politics of this country. We, we then were protesting and that's when it began. And then uh, the labor movement uh, came and linked with us at the university, Morgan Changrai. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you, you were part of the NCA, the National Constitutional yes. Assembly, which gave birth in a way to, to MDC, am I right? Yes, if you yes. could correct me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. were part of the NCA. I was part NCA. of the NCA. Mm. We, were the, we were the student uh, leadership portion of the NCA. We, we we led the protests against the commission, uh, the referendum vote. Oh, yes. As we were deployed, we would go to public meetings to speak against the, that constitution. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and as part of the National Constitutional Assembly, 
we then resolved to be part of the process, you know, the people's conventions, the yellow papers, the, the papers, the whole process mm -hmm. leading to the formation. A, a whole of, lot of uh, rich history mm -hmm. leading to the formation of MDCT, uh, rather MDC. When you look back, uh, 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 Jacob, when you look back at, at the fire, the excitement, the letter and the spirit of the formation of uh, MDC, sitting there now, looking at the rear view mirror, is that fire still there? Is that passion still there? Is, is that letter and spirit still there as far as the, 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 the movement that you were so instrumental in, uh, in mm. giving birth to? Well, I, I believe it's still there. I, I believe that earlier on we had uh, uh, some exuberance. Uh, we had uh, the excitement that comes with inexperience. Uh, we felt that we could do anything and be anything. And, uh, and, and once you say it, we had a genesis moment. You know, mm -hmm. when you form something, you tend to have a creator's complex. You believe if you say it, so it will be. And, and that was the, 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 I wouldn't want to use the word naive innocence that we had. We still have a fire. Youthful exuberance? A youthful exuberance then, and a belief that, uh, 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 and a clear underestimation of the forces that were gathered against change mm -hmm. and our ability to convert people. But we have gathered a lot of experience now. We still have the same fire, but we now have the benefit or the wisdom of hindsight. We know what, what is in the realm of the possible, uh, what to push, and also to measure and manage our excitement at any process that we are doing, mm -hmm. and also to avoid uh, certain dangers, not only to ourselves, but to our supporters. Mm -hmm. At that time, a lot of lives uh, were lost because we didn't believe that um, the regime would be so cruel uh, to its own people. You know, we didn't have the benefit of what uh, our other colleagues uh, in the developed part of the country had gone through uh, as young people that thing had been censored from us. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know how the murderous rage that would then come against us for simply demanding uh, simple things uh, like uh, voting, a free press, a better economy, and so forth. So 2008 uh, and its violence uh, taught us a different whole new side to what we were facing and, and, and how to measure our tactics and what we need to do and how we do it going forward. Uh, in many ways, to avoid harming ourselves or harming, causing harm to our supporters who in most cases uh, would be innocent. Yeah. Does, does that um, you remind me of uh, the baby, baby steps, you know, when a child is born, when they begin to crawl, they will touch fire mm -hmm. <laughs> until it bends them. Mm -hmm. And then they realize that uh, it, it's hot, mm -hmm. it's not to be touched. Um, are you now at a point where you are much more cautious than exuberant? Yeah. What is this wisdom from the lessons that life has taught you, brought you to? We, we are far much more cautious, far much more deliberate, uh, far much more concerned about the timing of the things we do. If you remember, when we started, we could be on the streets for the slightest degree of irritation. Uh, we would have a disproportionate response to any perceived slight. Uh, but now you, you can see a, a deliberateness. And, 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 and sometimes people then say, no, you are doing nothing. Uh, you, are, you are not reacting as you are supposed to do. You are not angry enough. Uh, but we know. We know. Uh, you're, you're angry, but you're, you're measured you in your measured. response. We know what we are facing. We know the response of the international community. We know the, the response of SADAC. We know the response of local actors. And we know that at the end of the day, if you do things that are not calculated, mm -hmm. people will begin to blame you for having acted uh, uh, precipitously mm -hmm. uh, when knowing fully well the consequences that will and so we, we, we believe we have pushed the, 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 the democratic struggle to, the, to a point where people no longer see it as impossible 
for us to be part of government. We are part of local government now. Oh, we are we are now being spoken to at national events. We are invited. We have meetings with. Uh, government officials where we agree to you have a place around the yes table. so and now it is it it is in the realm of possibility and acceptable that president nelson uh, uh, chamisa could be the president of zimbabwe uh, whereas back then uh, people will have a heart attack just to imagine uh, morgan changre is part of the governance architecture mm. but now it's a question of well if it happens, it happens. Um, if, if if it doesn't, uh, something must, must have gone wrong. But it's not something that a, a person in Zimbabwe can say is crazy, Think even thinking about it. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. So I, I believe we've taken it, uh, we've taken it further uh, uh, from where uh, we were and we are quite, quite happy with that. The, 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 let, let me, let's go to... Um the continued detention of Job Sikala mm -hmm. and uh, the continued de detention of Jacob Ngarevume. Is it part of that maturity that is stopping your organization from being much more active and much more, um, my view would have been, why are we not seeing you on the, on the streets demanding for Jacob Ngarevume to be released and Job Sikala to be removed, uh, reminding ourselves of you know the struggle in South Africa. You know Nelson Mandela must be removed, uh, must be must be freed, and that kind of stuff. Is that part of the maturity to be much more cautious and careful? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 you see, we, we you want to avoid the acts of the pro oppressor becoming an indictment on yourself. The continued detention of Job Sikala and Jacob Garuvame is not an indictment on ourselves. It's an indictment on those people that are detaining him. It's an indictment on the judiciary that allows itself to 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 be in a position where it detains somebody uh, on a pretrial uh, incarceration for more than a year mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, to convict someone on a section that has been declared unconstitutional by the same court system this is an, not an indictment on us it's an indictment on 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 those that are doing the oppression what we could do to make the situation worse is to go again on unplanned uh, 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 processes that might actually cloud the issue as to who is the problem here. And at the end of the day, you will then have all these commissions coming in either locally or externally to say, hey, all of you are a problem. Mm. Uh, mm. There is not one problem. You you need to be to be. Uh, 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 to be managed by an external person. Yes, we will. We are continuing to push, and the greatest, the greatest uh, 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 leverage that we could give to our colleagues is to be angry enough to overwhelm the rigging machinery and take government by 23 August, and not to all of us to accumulate ourselves in the prisons. What we need is to see it as it is, a bait to bait us to enter into precipitous actions and then create such a conflict around the election process that people don't know what exactly is happening. But I believe that the greatest gift we could give them is to run an organized campaign to take over the structures of power and then be able to create a framework where what is happening to them is not repeated. Mm. Well, point well made. Point well made. Mayor, the the you you are running for council, isn't it? Yes. For 2023. 20, and I must put this question to you. Given the mess that the city is in right now, um, why should people vote for you? Well, in in the first place, we, we need to understand what has happened to the local government structures in this country. Local governance has suffered. I think I will stop you there. Mm. We're going to take a break. Um, so we're going to go and look at um, how the local government has suffered. So at home, please don't go away. Um, join us uh, as uh, our guest explains what's happened to local government. See you on the other side. So you're having a situation where the winner is being supervised by the loser. And also where the winner is being supervised by someone who has a direct benefit in the winner failing.
Welcome back to our conversation with uh, His Worship, the Mayor of Harare, uh, Councillor Jacob Mafume. So, Councillor Mayor, uh, rather, before we took a break, you're going to explain to us the pressure that local government has is, is come under to the effect that um, water delivery is, is in jeopardy. The roads are a total mess. There is noise pollution. There's air pollution. There's rubbish all over the place. Vendors <laughs> all over the place. And um, the, the story of permits, I'll at some point, you know, want to, to, to speak to that. Talk to us about why you are unable to deliver what you are elected to deliver and why people should vote for you. What we, what we have had uh, in the past 20 years, as you know, uh, the opposition has been winning in the towns and the ruling party has been in winning in the uh, rural areas, but that's increasingly becoming less and less. But however, their response to the winning of, uh, of the opposition, uh, the first uh, thing was that Solomon Tavengwa, who was the uh, last ruling uh, party mayor, was given executive powers. Uh, and then when they lost the elections to Elias Muzuri, uh, executive powers were then stripped from the mayorship. In other words, you were, we were all made ceremonial. And, and, and they, 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 they stripped those powers to the extent that the budget is approved by the Minister of Local Government. So you're having a situation where the winner is being supervised by the loser, and also where the winner is being supervised by someone who has a direct benefit in the winner failing. So by then giving those powers to the Minister of Local Government, it has meant that we cannot appoint competent town clerks from grade three to grade one. They are appointed with the approval of the minister. So you can't appoint a person who forms part of your management who you want to manage. Mm. Uh, if you want to fire them, you have to also to get permission from what they call a local government board, which is managed by the minister. So he has approved the budget. You can't fire. You can't employ. You know, when we tried to employ, what was his name? The banker. Mm. Uh, yes. James uh, Mshore. Uh, James Mshore. Yeah. We, you know, it, that was an effort to try and bring expertise from private sector. We couldn't uh, because the government simply refused to, to, to allow us to employ someone with the requisite expertise. So you are then stuck with their own uh, old uh, bureaucrats. If you come to my meeting, uh, 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 staff meeting, you'll think I am a manager of an old people's home. Uh, 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 as it were. So, uh, uh, because everybody there is 65, 75, and close to 90, and with age cheating uh, in our society, uh, they, uh, you are looking at someone who looks 85, but is claiming to be 62, uh, 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 and managing a, a modern city. Then we have the problems of, they then took away sources of revenue. So Zinara, uh, where we used to make a road network. You know, the, our road network is was the biggest, bigger than Malawi, Zambia, and they took vehicle license fees. Everybody pays 20 US dollars per quarter for their vehicle minimum. And we get 800,000 cars in Harare as per our estimate, mm. and we pay 64 million US dollars. Zinara remits only 2 million US dollars per year since 2015. The rest, 62 million, is taken away by Zinara. Fuel levy goes to Zinara. It's in US dollars. We've never received a displacement of US dollars from Zinara and zero remittances from uh, the, our fuel levy since 2009. And it's very bad for Maharari motorists because they pay the bulk of these fees and they don't get it. Target fees, still the same. A Harare motorist pays to leave the city pays to get into the city. But the portion of what he pays to get into the city never comes to the city. It goes to Zinara again. So you pay when you go out, you pay when you get in to use Harare City roads. And uh, 20, 2009 or, or earlier, they then took Zesa, our energy source. And you know, our bills used to come with the bill for energy. Mm, mm. Bulawayo had the cheapest energy at 27 cents. Harare had the next cheapest energy at 34 cents, and the rest of the country had uh, energy at 74 uh, uh, cents. Why was that? Blawayo and 
Harare had their own power station, 120 megawatts capacity. We used to produce our own electricity for our residents. They took the power stations without compensation. They took the cabling. The office opposite Jamison Hotel was built by the city. Mm. Uh, Llewellyn Street, uh, whole buildings that are in that street were built by the city. Over 200 district office were built by the city. The cabling in the city were built by the cities, taken without compensation. And the very next morning, when they took the power stations, they sent the city a bill for electricity. So we are now paying in excess of 1 million US dollars a month for electricity. We never got royalties. There are offices that they occupy. They don't pay rentals. They never compensated for the and, power and, station. And the 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 uh, beer holes. You, yes. you need to, you used to get revenues. We used to get revenues. Alpha, yeah? yeah, the beer holes. That's we, gone again. That's gone again. Uh, we are we are now taking it back. Uh, I changed the board. We've taken uh, the thing. Remember the breweries, uh, the scud breweries. Yeah. Uh, it's now being it was now being leased by Delta to produce scud. They are now producing super. That was built by the city. We had over 136 beer holes in the city. These beer holes are the ones that built Rufaro Stadium mm. because it was called Rufaro Marketing. And during the heydays of our soccer, we had what we called Rufaro Rovers, which used to play in the Premier League, and the residents decided to build Rufaro, Rufaro Stadium. And this was all taken away so that's, from that's, the city. So that's taken away from the city, Mayor. My first question there is, do, do you think you're communicating this effectively to the public? Is the public aware of this predicament? I have tried. You know, I have had a kafafu with a lot of uh, policymakers, as you know. I had a direct confrontation with Zinara, uh, and I spoke at the NECF conference where his, uh, uh, the president was there and the whole of government was there. I spoke about this Zinara. I was on TV. Zinara promised to hold a national conference to look at the formula that it is using to disperse uh, uh, road user fees. Because road user fees for motorists should sue. These things should go to the roads that they are using, mm -hmm. not elsewhere to buy aeroplanes as it was doing, uh, and massages and the hair for their executive and things like that, swimming pools, houses. That's what they use. This is in the audit report by the Auditor yeah. General of 2015. The money was just used on, on frivolous and uh, what we call primitive consumption. So cle clearly the central government is intent on making you appear incompetent. Yes, they are intent on making us appear incompetent, having taken away. It's even procurement. All councils no longer have procurement committees. It was all centralized under PRAS in the president's office. So even if you want to buy a few items, you have to go to PRAS to approve uh, 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 the procurement of, 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 of cities. And in, in, in the worst cases, they have taken to procuring things for the cities themselves. You, if you know the fire tender yeah. uh, problems, uh, someone who procure a fire tender for for Emwenezi Rural District Council, where the only thing that is functioning there is a Tototo factory, a, a warehouse that makes a, 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 a beer mm -hmm. a, a, and nothing else, and a hat and, and other things. And you buy a, a, a fire engine that is costing 300,000 US. And the people there will not have the competence of, of, of even manning a fire engine, there is no hydrant where we'll get, they get the water. And is there ever a fire uh, that is worth you rushing to it with a fire engine, you know, trying to? So the, 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 what responsibility do you take? Admittedly, what you're saying is, it, I, I, well, you know, makes a lot of sense. This is what they've done. Mm -hmm. What about the mayor? What is, what is the mayor, it, it, do you, Take, do you apportion any blame for yourself as far as you're concerned? Well, we could we could always do better. Yeah, uh, we, in which areas? You know, you know, we could well in communicating, uh, as you say, so that the reforms that need to be done uh, are done. Maybe our negotiation skills or our advocate skills are not up to scratch to be able to make people our way. And then, secondly, ourselves. Uh, there are certain areas where, where uh, the responsibility 
is on us and where we will then be able to make the right decisions at the right time. Uh, we have tried to improve uh, our refuse collection. Uh, we have tried to improve uh, our sports amenities, our social welfare program. You know, we are in charge of uh, 45 clinics uh, and polyclinics. We have a responsibility of uh, delivering as state of Harare. Uh, we get 3,000 babies a month that are delivered mm -hmm. through our facilities. Uh, we have schools uh, in Harare that have an enrollment of close to 200,000 pupils. Um, we also have, we are in charge of the biggest water plant uh, in Southern Africa, outside South Africa, which is Morton Jeffries and the delivery of water. So in those areas, we, we believe uh, that we needed to do better. Uh, the management of uh, the finances of council uh, to be as sharp and also to avoid uh, incompetences around areas of peeling, incompetences around areas of taking care of the ambience of the city. That is the... Well, it's, the city is in bad shape. It's in bad shape, yeah. so, so when you're campaigning, Mayor, with, uh, with that litany of things that have, not go that have gone wrong, what, what's your campaigning message? Why should we vote you back as mayor? Well, um, what we we have done, we have stabilized uh, a number of sectors. So one, we've been able to protect the assets of the city. Things like uh, uh, the stadium, uh, Pomona, and a number of uh, tenders that were coming to the city and what is the asset stripping of the city. We've managed to keep that in the city. We've managed to protect the city. We've kept the water running for, we produce around 300 megaliters uh, per day. Uh, that is about 60% of the needs of Harare. But every day uh, there's water coming out of Morton Jeffries. We have been able to do some uh, cleanup around uh, the city. We are responding to issues of traffic, uh, we are responding to the educational needs uh, of the residents. We have uh, over 55 primary schools. We, the primary health care needs of the city are with us of the vaccination program, delivery of babies, 3,000 babies a month uh, is not uh, a, a small thing. And this is done People come and drive or get on buses to come and deliver babies at our at our facilities. And we've kept the city in existence. Mm -hmm. If we were not there, where we were not, uh, NRZ, CSC, and these are all forms of local uh, government, have completely collapsed. If you look at uh, growth points and uh, other rural councils that have been in the hands of our colleagues, there is nothing. They are still looking the same as they were when uh, independence came. You go to, to the growth points, you go to the rural areas, people are still fetching water from the same well that they used to fetch water from when uh, 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 the comrades were coming in. So we have kept the cities in existence and we are now going back to basics. We have highlighted the issues. As you can see, now there is a measure of life. We are refurbishing Rofaro Stadium. We are taking back assets that had been taken in, in uh, Rofaro marketing. We are bringing to the highlight issues of uh, Zinara, issues of, of, of Zesa, and we are going to uh, uh, claw back those things. And we go back to basics where the cities do their own roads. They do their own energy. Zesa must focus on the energy needs of big consumers like uh, the mines, the industry, and so what, forth. What about the issue of permits, Mayor? I, I did indicate that I wanted to go there because I have had a personal experience of a permit to subdivide land for development, excuse me, taking over a year. And I hear a lot of people saying it takes between a year and, uh, and, 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 and two years, three years, four years for a permit to come out. What, what's the problem? I get a sense that it's the attitude of uh, council employees. They are not, um, they, they don't seem to act in a manner that says approving a permit is an opportunity to, 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 to create jobs. 
uh, to add to the economic activity of uh, of the city. What's the problem with that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's the permits? old ways of doing things. Like I said, we have a dinosaur uh, uh, ras effect in the city. Uh, we have people who talk about 50 years, 40 years in the city, 60 years in the city. I was signing uh, long-term awards uh, the other day. It took me the whole afternoon. Uh, 25 years in the same place, 30 years in the same place. So they've set ways uh, of doing things. But you've been there for a while now. Yeah. Why has not, that not been We changed? have tried to change that. We are going to change that. And one way of changing it is computerizing mm -hmm. uh, processes. And, you know, when you computerize systems, because I've worked in other bureaucracies yeah. where things function. Yeah. So the problem of council is that everything is still manual. Now, if everything is manual, you increase rent-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. Somebody sits on a paper until they are given an incentive. But if you computerize, a computer system shuts you out. Mm. It gives you five days. And if you have not done certain things by five days, after the five days... So you are, you are aware of the issue of Yes, I'm aware holding of the... Back the, the, the they are holding area. back various economies. So we are going to change the philosophy. Our city is going to be divided into economic spheres. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a sport economy, a housing economy, uh, and industrial economy. So for people to understand that this is an economic setup and we are going towards densification. If somebody wants to subdivide, uh, people are now moving away from colonial style mm -hmm. house, uh, houses where you had, where one person wanted a swimming pool for himself, for supper, uh, for summer, uh, they wanted a big yard for themselves, maybe to chase themselves or their dog or whoever. Then they put a little house in the corner and then they want a long driveway for the... So you're, you're focusing on densification. We are now focusing on densification and we are putting that in the minds of the people that the new generation is not so worried about space. They are, they are more focused about the utility mm -hmm. of the space that they because occupy. land is finite. Isn't land it? is finite, mm -hmm. and someone can is can function in a smaller space. So the younger generation is quite happy to, to stay mm -hmm. in a in a what you call an estate yeah. or or a gated community mm -hmm. where they can park communally. They sleep alone, maybe with their girlfriend or wife, but they, they've got a small little space. They don't need twenty bedrooms or mm -hmm. fifteen toilets in one house. You know where. You know, there's a toilet in the kitchen, mm -hmm. toilet in the corridor, and the toilet in I the bedroom, you. and so forth. Sh shall yeah. we go to uh, problematic areas, uh, Mayor, and as briefly as you, 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 you may, update us as to where we are. So the Pomona Waste Management deal, where are we with that? What, what, what we have done is that we as council have said we will have nothing to do with that. Uh, uh, you cannot pay rental on your own property. Uh, particularly if the rental is in excess of one million US dollars per month, and as council we have terminated uh, 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 that uh, uh, that contract. It does not. But they are sense. on your land, isn't it? Yeah, is it's that our, not council land. It's council land. We bought it in 1982. Are they not? Are they not supposed to pay you rent? They are supposed to pay us rent. Are they paying rent? No, they are not paying us uh, rent at the moment. But we have made uh, the uh, the demand. And we have also made a resolution that that property be returned back Is to council. Is it true, Mayor, that uh, your council initially approved this uh, this Pomona deal? Is that true? It was not uh, my council per se. It was, remember, they had recalled the Triple C yeah. councillors. Yeah. So during the time of that recall, where there was ZANU PF and ZANU Light, uh, yeah. which is MDCT, yeah. they then agreed to that process. So it was during your absence yeah. that they did so that. So when we come back, we then uh, uh, clearly stated that this agreement was not feasible. Uh, it did not work and does not. So you're not part of that. We are not part of that. What about Rufaro Stadium? Where are we? Rufaro Stadium. I'm happy to say that uh, we are going to be opening uh, Rufaro Stadium within the next uh, two weeks. So you still have full control we have of full Rufaro control Stadium. Of you're renovating it. We are renovating it. it. Okay. Uh, it's, it's perfect. It's going to be world standard. We'll put seats. We've done the car park. If you drive past it right now, it's a state-of-the-art car facility. It will have a shopping mall. Uh, there will be small to medium shops at the other end, a B arena, and and and, and seats, widened changing rooms, uh, sprinklers, 
and we are going to make it a very family friendly. Mm. Is uh, that venue. part of your Mbare Urban Renewal? Yeah, that's part of our Mbare Urban Renewal. We are starting from the stadium going inwards. Mm. We are going to convert, you know, the oldest maternity clinic in Harare, which yes. is Edith Doberman. Yes. We are now going to convert it into a maternity hospital. Mm. There is pageant house and charter house uh, alongside it. Charter house, we've already done the plans to make it a maternity wheel, uh, a wing and pageant house. We're going to make it accommodation for nurses mm. and doctors, and we're going to establish a nursing school mm. there. Fantastic. May I will take a break. When we come in, when we come back, please don't go away. The, 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 his worship, the mayor, has been suspended uh, six times. You spent time in prison. Um, we're going to go there and uh, try and understand exactly why you had to visit the prison and be suspended. So please don't go away. Join us on the other side. It's very difficult when you are in opposition, uh, one day or in one shape or way or the other, an accusation will be leveled against you. Welcome back to our conversation with His Worship, the Mayor of Harare, Councillor Jacob Mafume. Councillor, you were born in, um, which, where were you born, by the way? I was born in Maronde. My father was teaching uh, uh, there, mm -hmm. and he met my mother. And uh, Which, which uh, schools did you go to? I, I went to Riverside Primary School uh, in, in Gweru. Gweru. That's where my uh, maternal grandfather used to stay. So I went to Riverside Primary School. From Riverside Primary School, I then went to Gokomere High School mm. uh, and then University of Zimbabwe. You, you, one thing that I didn't realize is that you actually worked in the Prime Minister's office. Yes. Um, uh, Morgan, Morgan Swangirai. Yes. What is it like working with this man? Well, he, he was full of energy. He was a bundle of energy. He was one of the a well-intentioned man I've come across, uh, always laughing. You know, he had a huge laugh that would fill a whole room. He was determined to make Zimbabwe better. And and I'm happy that we were able to be part of his government mm -hmm. in one shape or the other. Uh, he, he, he really was committed and was trying to reform not only uh, the political environment, but the economic environment. And, you know, uh, working with uh, President Morgan Changrai was he was he was an easygoing man, a trade unionist. Any, any memorable incidents, achievements when you were working with uh, the, the, the then Prime Minister? Well, the the, the memorable uh, things was you know I used to do his diary uh, uh, in the early days. He was yeah. an early worker. He would he was always on time, mm -hmm. and he would wake up. By six, six thirty, he would be phoning you. So where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, Prime Minister, everyone else is asleep. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. I can't set up any meetings right. for you at seven a.m. Right, right. <laughs> I know you are awake, but uh, the, the people you are supposed to meet are busy <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> They'll come up at, uh, at 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 nine o'clock. So you get a phone call from him and his security to say, "Look, we're." We're here. We're at the Prime Minister's house. Where is he going? Right. And I'm saying, I'm, I'm in my house, I have nothing. I'm sleeping. You must work. The meetings will start at 12. He was such a, uh, an, an early riser, and uh, he was always eager to work uh, and was always on time mm -hmm. for any, any, any meetings, always looking at, at, at his watch. Mm. Yeah. So you, you, you've, you spent some time with Kanda Nima, man. Mm -hmm. You spent some time within the human rights organizations. You've been to Uganda. Um, you also spent some time with the US, USAID and, and crisis in the bubble. Mm -hmm. Of these assignments, which one has had a huge impact on you in terms of your uh, professionalism and, and, and your discipline? Well, the first one was Kanta and Timaman. Uh, that's where they gave me, you know, Kanta and Timaman was such a huge human rights law firm. 
uh, it produced some of the legal luminaries that we have, you know, the Dueman, the mm, Dueman Kai Wachas, Wacha team, mm. uh, Beatrice Mutetwa, uh, <coughs> Eddington Chinake, uh, Brian Kagoro, uh, you know, Tawanda Hondora, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the people, you know, Kanta himself, uh, t- uh, what's his name? Uh, Tawanda Nyambirai. Yeah. Yes, and and all those guys. They were very. It had a huge human rights focus and such a huge pedigree uh, of, of 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 individuals who are well accomplished in whatever. So that uh, had a big impact. So that had a you. big impact. Uh, mm. uh, they've all made a mark in 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 their various spheres where they've gone during the time they were at Kant and Timmerman. And I've always had a burning desire to join uh, uh, <laughs> their list as yeah. one of the people who contributed a lot to to society. So I would say that that uh, uh, formative stage was 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 very important mm. and instrumental in what I've become. And uh, Mafume Law Chambers is that still running, or you shelved that? Well, it's working. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not right. <running. laughs> <laughs> right, it's the mayoral issues and stuff like that. It 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 is a backstop. Yeah, you know, sometimes. So the, the firm is still there. It's still there. Okay, you know, the people can one day say they no longer want you. It's like what my president says, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa. It's not about what you want or what office you want. It is whether the people want you. So it's sometimes for one reason or the other, the people can say, well, we love you, but we are taking a different direction. Mm-hmm. I need to be able to have some way to go. You have conversations with Trevor. Mm-hmm. I'll have my family law chambers. <laughs> <laughs> when all else do not want, yeah. when, when all else do not want you, they can't stop you from having conversation mm-hmm. with yourself, no. uh, can they? Yeah. So if, 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 if 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 the people say ah thank you so much uh, mayor mafume uh, we are happy with what you did for you but we are taking a different direction i'm able to go back to my law firm and continue without feeling bitter or angry at the people mm. Mm. you you were arrested um um by the anti corruption uh, uh commission um structures uh, f- what was the that incident all about well, the, well, it's in the public domain. Well, it's difficult to talk exactly in detail because the case is, is, is case it's, still running. Yeah, it's still okay, running. Where is, it, where is the case now? Uh, I mean, well, if it's it, yeah. uh, it's uh, it's at uh, Rotten. You know, the cases they keep yeah. getting postponed, so it hasn't. Uh, I thought uh, it was dead. No, well, no, it hasn't. So I wouldn't want to sure. uh, to 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 fall foul of the reasons to discuss yeah. with it. But just to say in general that it's very difficult when you are in opposition uh, one day or in one shape or way or the other, an accusation will be leveled against you. Mm. Uh, uh, If you are a journalist, you are a mayor, you are even ministers and so forth. So it it comes with the uh, territory, Mm. I suppose, when you are in Zimbabwe, it's part of... Does it, I mean, I suspect that the, the, the idea of keeping it going is that it must occupy your mind. Of course, it, it must worry you. Yeah, and that's weighs, essentially the, dis- the yeah, yeah. The, it weighs the on your it? it weighs on your mind. It weighs on your decision making. It weighs on on your family. It weighs even on your own self confidence mm-hmm. uh, in terms of what you are able to do and how you are able to do it. Mm-hmm. You really need to pull a huge uh, uh, from a huge reservoir of of strength to be able to keep going on when the temptation is to you know you know like give a, up like what a milliped does mm. roll and curl in your blankets mm. and never come out you, you what, what 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 how are you able to do that mayor how are you able to do that i mean it can be an easy uh, place. it's not an easy part of it is prayer uh, part of it is to try and have faith that uh, you know they say that the lord does not give you temptations that you cannot overcome mm. or does not give you battles that you cannot defeat mm. and and you then say look uh, as long as the gift of life is there then there is a purpose mm. that the lord has put me there everything else might try to sidetrack you 
But if you are sure that your intentions are pure, mm. that you did not mean to harm anybody. There's no malice. There's no malice. And what you are doing, you are doing in good faith. A mistake mm. can be done in good faith or you can harm someone in good faith. But for as long as you are uh, aligned with your spirit, with your beliefs, and uh, and and you are getting guidance, you are able to to carry on. Mm. What, what support structure do you have? Do you do you have a mentor? Do you have an account accountability partner? How, I mean, because it it can be easy. Yeah, it 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 can be easy. The support structures we have is, you know, we grew up uh, as student leaders and so forth. So some of our colleagues uh, 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 that I'm working with are people that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa is part of the support structure. We we have moved in this road together since we were young. Uh, people like Arnold Tsunga, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights. Uh, are you concerned at all about your own security? We are concerned about security. In, 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 in most of the things that we do, I'm concerned about my security, but I, 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 I believe that uh, we are operating in an environment where we have to take certain risks uh, in, 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 in order to make the point. Uh, what does it help the nation to harm uh, someone like me? What does it help the nation to harm uh, people who are trying to make the nation better? I do believe progressively uh, from where we came from when we started this movement, mm -hmm. uh, it was a taboo to criticize the government. It was a death sentence to say anything bad about government. It was even uh, dangerous to be a member of an opposition. At this point where we are, yes, people are trying to take us back there and try to, 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 to put a lead on the winds of change, mm -hmm. uh, to use that yeah. cliche. But th the winds of change are here. Uh, Zambia, even Mozambique, even uh, even Angola, and so forth, where many of these things used to be an anathema, uh, are opening up. And to make matters worse, the internet and the global world mm -hmm. has made it easier for people to to, is, to be is secure. Your, your, are you able to talk about your suspensions? Then? Yeah, yeah, the you suspensions. You suspended six times, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the suspensions. Well, what was the, in, a, in, a, in a few lines, what's the intention of that? No, that, that was to keep me out of office. I would simply get a suspension uh, today if, it, you know, our suspensions expire in 45 days. On the 49th day, I'll get another one. Uh, then it then expires again. Uh, on the other 49th day, I get another one. So it was just to to cripple you. To to keep me out of out of office. Was there anything that they wanted to do in your absence or that's where many of these things were about to happen? The Rufaro Stadium I deals, see. the Pomona deals, and many other uh, issues were supposed to happen while I was out of office. Uh, 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 for some reason they were away that if if the things were to pass by me. I would refuse. Mm -hmm. uh, these are residents' properties, mm -hmm. and there's no way you are elected and your signature can alienate uh, family heirlooms. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the Rufaro Stadium is a family heirloom. Uh, the Pomona dump site in 1982, the residents had the, the presence of mind to buy a Pomona farm and say, we are simply buying this Pomona farm to put our rubbish. At some point, that land needs to come back, yeah. and, and that business and then, needs to come so back to the how, city council. How do, you, how do you get rid of family heirlooms and, 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 and try to, 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 to sell your, your, your inheritance? There are a lot of properties that were bought by the residents of Harare, mm -hmm. which people are trying to parcel out. Porter Farm, uh, 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 Cobra Farms, uh, they built Lake Chivero, I mean, uh, Chivero Dam, many things that were bought by the residents. Mm. Instead of us adding to the value of those things, we are trying to take away from the people and build them. It's, it's like, you know, we no longer have philanthropists in the nature of the Guanzura brothers. Yeah. They built mm -hmm. a stadium, which was, of course, taken by, by the city. But, you know, it, 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 there was no fanfare. They needed to do it. They built Guanzura Stadium. And there we have we had a stadium named after them. That's the kind of philanthropy 
that we need to go back to, not the philanthropy that says, if I give back to the residents, the residents must give back a pound of flesh. Yeah, I've, I've, as you're talking to me, I'm reminded of um, a number of two or so pictures that I've seen you with the president. Mm -hmm. And the president seems to be thoroughly enjoying hugging you. What's the relationship between you and, and the president? Well, it's, 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 it's a relationship of, uh, of people who are uh, working together. Uh, if I am the mayor of Harare, it comes with uh, certain areas where we will have to interact and to work together for the benefit of the citizens of Harare. Harare is the economic hub of the country. Uh, we have to protect the residents from cholera, from COVID, from many other things. And it does not help uh, us as, as, uh, as governors or as people who have been trusted with a certain duty uh, to then be bitter about it and to be acrimonious have, about have, it. Have, why have you not been able to use that access and those hugs to unlock <laughs> all the other problems that you've just highlighted now? Well, what we, we, we are working within a framework, I, I, I suppose. And, uh, and, 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 and what are the expectations of the political parties, the expectations of the residents, and sometimes the limitations of the mandate in a particular office mm -hmm. will not allow you to be able to, to make headway uh, without appearing to have uh, veered, of course, or to have betrayed uh, uh, the people or the citizens. What I believe is that we are already working as government. There is local government, there is central government. Now, if I... They, my point is they are putting... His party is putting spanners in the works for you. Do you use those opportunities to say, but Mr. President, you're, oh, hu yes, yes, you're yes. hugging me here, but... Uh, Oh yes, Look we use it. the you opportunities to... And what do you get? To, to, you get well, any traction at all? Yeah, oh, there are certain areas where we get traction. Areas of public health. I must say the local government and central government work uh, closely. If there is a COVID vi problem, if there's cholera outbreak or there's a health... So threat, they don't stand in your way? They don't stand. Actually, they hold joint meetings, work together. So on the health front, you will find that there has been a greater cooperation. We would want it to be bigger and better, but there we have been able to work together uh, 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 to protect the residents. And, and you know, the whole region was affected by a cholera yeah, outbreak. Yeah. And uh, Harare, we only had less than five, uh, well, may their souls rest in peace, but we had less than five deaths mm -hmm. in Harare, whereas South Africa, Malawi, and all the other surrounding countries had huge numbers yeah. going in almost into the hundreds of people dying of cholera. Mm -hmm. But we managed to work together to keep it down. And, and during the COVID times, we managed to, 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 to work together. So that area, I think uh, uh, there has been significant uh, 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 working together. The other areas where we need to then deal with the bottlenecks, yeah. like roads, yeah. like water, uh, uh, like uh, refuse, and issues of assets, there we need to get more traction. But I've seen that uh, the the raids on uh, council assets have reduced. Mm. So I think the message has gotten through that let's not go and try a, 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 and raid a council premises. Mm. I'm going to put you on the spot. We have an election before we, we do books. Mm. I'm going to put you on the spot. We've got an election. You're standing in as councillor. If, can you call this election? We are winning. President uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa is going to come out uh, uh, victorious. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we believe that uh, he's the viable option. Uh, he has put in the work. Uh, we, we, we are confident that uh, uh, we, with his leadership, we will be able to pull through despite uh, the challenges that we are having with the legal framework, rigging, and so forth. We will overwhelm uh, that whole that whole system. We have had the by-elections. It's a trial run. He was not on the ballot, mm -hmm. but uh, we formed a, 
uh, a, a new name, we had a new name, uh, Triple C, Yellow Movement, and we managed to defend uh, the territory that we have. And he is now on the ballot. We have put candidates all over. We, we, we are pretty upbeat. We are confident that the time is now. I must ask you this. Um, as, as a politician, as a leader in your, in your place, have you ever failed? in anything? And if you have, what lessons have you gotten from that failure? Oh, politicians, we fail more often than we succeed. We are a result of our experiences. In every election you win, there's in three or four elections you have lost. Mm -hmm. uh, in every thing you gain, there are three or four things you have lost. Uh, the, 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 the greatest lesson is, is that keep, keep moving, keep going, keep trying. Uh, there is no shame in losing after you have tried. Uh, when I was at primary school, our motto was the best that I can at Riverside Primary School. So for as long as I convinced myself that in whatever situation, in whatever task, I did the best that I could. The fact that I came number five or number six or number one or number 15 is neither here nor there. I did, did my best. the best that I could, and as long as I've done the best that I can, I made peace with my soul. Mayor, what a pleasure. But I'm not going to let you go before we discuss books. Hey? Okay. Um, viewers uh, who, love, who follow this show all over the world love books. What books may I have you read? Three, at least three books that you'd recommend to our viewers. Okay. Uh, I've read uh, Things Fall Apart. Mm. Uh, Chinua Achebe. Chinua Achebe. Mm -hmm. House of Hunger. Mm -hmm. uh, Dambuzo Marachera. Dambuzo Marachera. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, was, I'm trying to see which one can ring. <laughs> <laughs> Great African authors. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've read Ngugi. What's the Yonko, uh, A Grain of Wheat. Mm. So my books are uh, uh, political yeah. and um, a bit more Afrocentric. But uh, the writers that I've spoken about uh, in them in, in, with their different skills, they write the lived experience mm -hmm. of an African person, mm -hmm. uh, both locally and as for Dambuzo Marachera, even in exile. Mayor, thank you so much yes. for coming through. You're a busy man. Thank you for coming in thank and you sharing, for it's always sharing a your, your life journey. Thank right. you so much. We wish you best, the best in your campaign for 2023. Um, and uh, we'll be watching to see whether you succeed. And if you do, we'll be cheering you on. We are the next government. Wonderful. Good to hear that. <laughs> Congratulations. May your, may your dreams come true. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, Allow me now to turn over to our viewers, uh, Mayor, who are all over the world. Um, say thank you for watching. Uh, for watching. Remember, we are on our air, um, 7 a.m. Central African time every Monday morning. To ensure that you don't miss out on, on any of these quality conversations, I invite you to click on this red button and subscribe, like, and share. We've gone a step further and created uh, podcasts for you, which sit on our website. Go onto our website uh, for your listening pleasure. We view, we read your comments. Uh, we love your suggestions as to who should come onto the show, and we, we 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 try our best to to follow those suggestions. Until next time, cheers to you all.